Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Blokes on a Budget, tips, tricks and money savers. I uh, hope everyone's growing their mows. We're almost halfway through November now, Movember. So uh, if you haven't heard about the competition, there's a competition running, just check um, a couple of the, the old show called Movember on the uh, Facebook fan page. Or if you can't find it there, just go to YouTube, type in www.youtube.com slash blokes on a budget and uh, look for the Movember one, I'll tell you all about it. Today I thought I'd do another product review, and this time it's on the... Come here, go. Come, go. Come here. Come here. Test drive Staffordshire Bull Terror. This is my one. Her name's Mia. She's about two years old. And I got her from uh, a friend of a friend who knew somebody who worked with someone that lived below a person who this dog was bought for, a 22 year old guy, someone bought it for his birthday. He's a flight attendant and lived in a two bedroom unit with no balcony. So that's how I got her. She was free, that's the best way to get a dog. These dogs are awesome and it's not just because I own one. I know lots of people with them. So everyone I seem to know loves Staffies. And I've always found them to be loyal, calm, um, but still playful, just a great bloody dog. They're so freaking chilled, it's amazing. So you get a lot of dog for a small package, you know, they're not big, you know, it's like, and you get aspects of, of big dogs, like they're tough, they're rugged, um, they play, they'll, you know, they'll fight if they have to, whatever they've got to do, and you get all this in this tiny little package that fits in the front seat of the car. So I think they're great. There you go, there you go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay, 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 show everyone. Here you are. So anyway, um, you can get the big chunky nuggety ones, like the full British ones. You can get it, there's a smaller version of them. Um, this, she's supposed to be half American and half English staffy, and I think that's about right. That's probably pretty much what she is. So, now she's been off a lead her whole life, and not because I um, trained her to be that way, mainly because she never wanted to go more than four meters away from me. Uh, she's been good like that the whole time. So I do put on a leaf on walking around, you know, people so they don't freak out, not for her benefit, for them. And I heard when I looked, researched them after I got her, that the reason they're so loyal, they were actually, you know, one of those fighting dogs, is they were so good in the fight, in the ring because they were so loyal, you know, they just pretty much die for their master or whatever. Uh, and she's great, she just wants to be around the whole time. I've had other, like my kids, uh, friends, they just want one, they just want me and they want her. But I think all staffies are pretty much like that as far as I've seen. There's one up the road and I know heaps of them. So they're short haired, as you know. They're, you know, they're tough. I wouldn't want to piss her off. I reckon she'd tell you a new asshole if she wanted to. I play fight with her all the time. She doesn't bite me, she sort of nibbles on me like it's corn. And um, the kids try to fight her and try and jump on her, but she won't, she just won't do anything. She only ever uh, play with me like that. She's just smart. They're great kids. They don't, yeah, all dogs are going to dig and do this sort of stuff, but they don't yelp all night, don't bark all night, don't do anything. And I've seen a lot of people go out and get uh, dogs for their kids and they get them the uh, Labrador or something like that. And it's not the breed, but the dog turns into dead shit, you know. I think they're a harder breed to work with. You really got to, they really need a master. Uh, and when you buy it for the kid and the parent's not interested in it, well, then the dog knows that and you just get this crazy ass dog. You know, they're a packed dog, they need a master, they need to be put in their place. But... Similar sort of stuff I've seen with Staffy. Staffies are sort of just left to their own devices. Still pretty, pretty calm sort of dog. They can be fat and lazy dogs, or they can be full energetic dogs like she is. Like I go walk her with a bike, you know. She just I can't exercise her enough. She's insane. So I recommend one to anyone. They are beautiful. I love them. She does look a little bit like a baby eater. The uh, young bloke that works down, the Lebanese bloke works in the fruit shop down the road. He loves her. Brings it down, it's like, oh man, that dog's so sick, I wanna get one of those, looks like a tiger, and he starts telling me how he wants to buy a tiger, like a real tiger and shit. But uh, you can get them, obviously you've seen them, they're in the black, the white, uh, the brindle, same brindle as mine, which is that sort of gingery brindle. Uh, obviously the pure blue ones, or the pure tan ones, they're really expensive, but they're a beautiful dog too, they're gorgeous, I love those ones. So I'd suggest one for anyone. Um, you know, I can pick her up, she gets a lock jaw, I can swing her around, she's great, it's easy to carry like that actually. Awesome dogs, so very manly. So if you're in the market for a dog, I get one of them.